your girl Amber and welcome back to my channel. This is different, right? Like, I'm giving you a lot of nail action, Mr. Bartholomew. Mr. Bartholomew, I got a question. Anyway, um, if you guys have been following me on social media, you know that I have been really having lots of discussion about budgeting and what does that look like for me I'm in the midst of buying a home. Um, Reese is going off to college in a couple years. Like I really was just not satisfied with the way that I was living financially. Um, so I decided to take the reins and I did so much research on the Dave Ramsey cash envelope stuffing. Um, boss mom, you guys, all the things that I'm even mentioning, I'll put in the description box below. But you all asked, 100% um, of you actually, when I did a poll on my Instagram that you wanted to, me to show you um, my, ca my first cash envelope stuffing. I am not a financial advisor. No, no, no. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, however, I am following a method that has worked for so many, whether your income is salary based, hourly or part time. Um, this is really just a neat way to tangibly see where all of your funds are going um, in providing a place for them um, within your life. So first things first is one thing I wanted to mention is that we have what we call our expenses. So that's your car note, your car insurance, cell phone bill. If you have subscriptions to so like Amazon or like I have a Facetune subscription, I'm gonna keep a book. That is my truth. Um, and then what other expenses do I have? I just have like my computer to the right of me. Any credit card payments, um, any rent, things of that capacity. Um, and I also have tuition because Reese goes to a private school. Yay. Um, with that said, those funds, when I get my paychecks, stay in the bank. Those are what we call revolving accounts. They come out every month, same time. You don't want to touch those funds. And nine times out of 10, you get a bit of a discount if you set up auto pay. Like I get $20 off my T-Mobile bill by just setting up auto pay. So I just make sure the funds are there and I don't touch them. So that's one thing. Then we have our ca cash envelope. Cash envelope would be for me specifically, um, gas, spending, and my beauty. So that's my hair, nails, pedicure, lashes. I don't play, I don't mess around. Um, but for some, that could also mean groceries, that could also mean ho um, household things. I just throw those kind of, um, those particular categories in my spending. I don't pay for groceries, so that's one less expense that I have to worry about. That is a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so for me, those three cash envelopes stay on my person. So they stay in my wallet. This is the Filofax. Um, if you guys watch any other cash stuffing envelopes on YouTube, the girls rave about this one until she can get her cute little Louis Vuitton moment, okay? But until then, this is definitely doing what I need it to do. So I have my gas envelope. And just so that you know, don't come for me. They're empty because this is my first time doing it. Um, so, and I just started a job on April 12th. So this is my first full paycheck since starting this new position. So on my person, I keep my gas envelope, my spending envelope, which I've already used because that's a whole nother story. I bought a cricket. I'm excited. And then beauty. So, um, like next Wednesday, I have my lash appointment. My sister does my nails, so that's a really low inexpense. I like to bless her for doing my nails, as you can see here, like get into it. Um, and then what other expenses? And my pedicures only get once a month. So with that said, um, I like to keep my credit cards. I don't want to give any, you know, any, you know, info. <laughs> and like my IDs and stuff on this side, and I keep my coins. So these particular envelopes, these are going to be something that I fill every two weeks because that's when I get paid. That's the sequence of my paycheck here in the state of Maryland. It was not like that in Seattle. Hallelujah. Um, and this is something that's just going to be continuous and anything left over from here, I would be putting in what is considered a miscellaneous fund. Um, so that's one aspect of your cash envelopes. Then the last portion of the stuffing, uh, what are we calling this? Like... I don't know you guys like a part of the cash stuffing system boom is what we call our sinking funds <laughs> which I find really funny because a lot of my sinking funds is like my kids but that is essentially things that you want to save up for for purchase in the long term so for me I really want to create a savings for my kids especially with Reese going off to school vacation family time Christmas so what I will do is provide a spreadsheet that I purchased on Etsy um, that really allows me to outline exactly what my sinking funds consist of. 
Um, you know I love sneakers, so that is also an element that I like to put money aside for like any new releases. Um, so really what it does is allow you to one, stop using your debit card. You, you right there. Stop using your debit card because what ends up happening is if you budget $50 for say groceries and you spend $52.50, that $2.50 was not accounted for, which then how are you really spending your money? You lose those little change, those little dollars here and there, and they add up. So this system right here allows you to use cash when things are due or when you're ready to buy things. You just deposit it back into the um, your ATM machine and then use your debit card for only online purchases or travel tickets and things of that capacity. So for me, the way that I want to start my first cash envelope stuffing is that I'm just going to start with um, my cash envelopes. Um, and as I mentioned, these are the envelopes that stay on my person. Now, I work from home. I do have a, re a remote position. But as you know, I also, I don't know, as you know, let me not make that assumption. I also operate as a lash tech. So I travel outside of the home about three to four times a week. Um, I am part time with my lashing right now because I do work a full time nine to five and I've been finding myself working seven days a week and it's brutal, but I actually really love lashing. So I'm not going to really change that anytime soon. So when it comes to gas, I budgeted $60 for gas. However, caveat, um, before I filmed this, um, before I filmed today, I actually already, oops, sorry, I actually already filled my tank with 40 bucks. So all that I'm going to put in here, because I budget $60 for gas, is I'm just going to put in $20. So that's a 10 and two fives. And then I'm just going to keep that on my person. So throughout the week, if I do travel outside the home and I need gas, um, which has already been filled today, then I'll go ahead and replenish it with the money that I've set aside for gas. One thing to note, as you can see, I have a lot of my funds here, is that I keep my expenses in the bank, right? All other cash that I have allocated for my cash envelopes and my sunken funds, I withdraw. Um, I have these really nifty... Uh, cash breakdown cards that I've gotten from Etsy and I'll make sure to link that supplier in my description box but ultimately I've allocated for all of my sinking funds what dollar amount is going into each one of those funds and then I just break them down between ones and a hundred I actually didn't have any hundreds that I needed this time around so I just went from ones to 50 so I hope that was really clear so then when it comes to spending I allocate $200 for spending every pay and I've already used it and that's perfectly okay because I have no intention of spending money for the next two weeks. It's really the beauty of working remote from home. Um, you're less likely to spend money when you're in the house and because food is here and entertainment is here and I really have no need to leave um, and the fact that I'm doing a no spend until my next paycheck um, this is really going to keep me honest, but I just have a receipt because the $200 I used because I bought a cricket and then I bought some nice little accessories that got along with it. Now this was something that I was already planning, but say I didn't plan for this, I would have put it in one of my sunken funds, saved up for it, and then withdrew it when I was ready to make the purchase. And then lastly, we have beauty, which I've allocated $85 because I'm getting my lashes filled on Wednesday. So I'm going to take 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, and I'm going to put that in my beauty envelope. Okay. Can we dig it? Can we dig it? Now, please bear with me, you guys. This is my first time doing it. But you wanted to see how I did it, and this is like how it's done. So because those are the only three items that I keep on my person, I am pretty much done with my cash envelopes. And then we can start and jump right into our sunken funds. Now here's the thing. Is it necessary to get these binders and they be super dramatic and festive? No, but let me tell you something. If you're anything like me, creativity and colors and pretty really motivates me for some reason. So doing the research that I did do in regards to cash envelope stuffing, um, a lot of girls have so many crafty executions when it comes 
to making this a fun, non-dreadful experience. <laughs> so uh, for me, I am such a visual um, person that this motivates me, like seeing the colors and seeing the money collect and tangibly touching my funds really excite me. So like, judge your mama, not me. So first up for my sunken funds, I have my eldest son, Reese, and I'm gonna give him $25. And one thing I wanted to mention is that in each one of my folders, I have these budget sheets that you can fill out where it shows your beginning balance. And as you make additions to your folders, you can kind of see over time how much money you've saved. But again, this is my first time, so there's really nothing really to fill in here. And I'll do that later. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. So I put 25 into Reese's funds. Then we have Piercy Boy. Now, Pierce had a really lucrative Easter, so he gave me his money, and I went on ahead and just threw it into his card. I mean, I'm sorry, his envelope. But Piercy gets $15. Reason for that, he's younger, he has less expenses, and right now it's really just focusing on Reese and his, um, his next steps. Um, I've been telling him forever, like, it's your time to be selfish, and his brother's seven years younger than him, and he doesn't have any major needs at this moment. Oop. So as I said, Pierce had a lucrative Easter. I'm going to put this $15 that we've allocated for Diddy. You'll learn to hear that name. <laughs> it's his nickname um, into his account. So right now Diddy has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41 dollars. Good job, buddy. And he's my Capricorn. You know how y'all are. Y'all like to keep y'all money, honey. Y'all don't like to spend. Y'all change. And then we're done with Pierce. <clears throat> then we have vacation. Um, the funny thing about vacation is that we're actually going on vacation this month. We're going to Puerto Rico. But because this is my first time doing it, we're starting fresh. The rule is one vacation for mom, one vacation for the kids and then one family vacation, so it's, a, it's like all of us. So we try to go somewhere, at least that's the aim, two to three times a year. Well, with the kids twice, with me by myself, I highly suggest solo trips. <laughs> so for vacation, I've allocated 40 bucks. So I'm gonna take two 20s. I'm telling you, it may seem like a lot, but there is something about seeing how you are saving up for each individual need, I swear to God. Family time. So because of COVID, we really haven't left the house much. But one thing me and my sons like to do, um, whether it's go to an arcade or go to the main event, there's one like that in, in the DMV area, or even um, Sky Zone or bouncy places and things of that capacity. So I just want to prepare for it if ever we're like, we need to get out the house. Um, and I've allocated $40 this go around for family time. all right then we have clothing um right now again because we're indoors um we're really not needing too much when it comes to clothing but as you can imagine my my youngest is always ripping holes in his jeans because they just like to be on their knees crawling around i'm not entirely sure what that's about um reese really doesn't have a need right now i kind of overdo it for christmas and birthdays but just in case if something comes up um, I like to be prepared for socks and undershirts and underwear, okay? So with that said, I've allocated $30 for clothing. Ooh, girl. And we just put it right in the envelope. You guys, I hope this is not janky. Like, this was really hard to do, <laughs> especially the setup. Then we have cart maintenance. So let's talk about car maintenance. Um, particularly oil changes, you need new tires, rotation, parts. This is the one that I feel like really gets people hemmed up if you're not prepared. Um, completely different than an emergency fund. This right here is something that you be minding your business, your car is moving along, and all of a sudden, like, a freaking hubcap flies off in the, in the highway. Or is that just me? I don't know. But for me, basically, I've allocated $50 for car maintenance this go around. I think in the future I want to allocate about $100 because I have a truck um, and she is doing right by me right now, but she can totally change her mind at any given moment. <laughs> so I'm putting $50 into car maintenance. And just like that, we're done with our first binder of the week. Find it, we did it guys, we did it. We did it, Joe. Okay. 
Then we have our next one here. So next up I have Debit Snowball. So let's talk about this one as well. Um, a little different than you paying your reoccurring credit card bills every month. Debt Snowball is something that you're going to put aside in addition to. So the end of the month, whereas though some people may have a minimum payment of $25 or $35 or $50 bucks even, um, what you end up doing is putting money aside every month and then putting another large hit on that debit, I mean on that credit, um, or any debt that you may have occurred over time. So for me... Um, although I do have a Capital One credit card and I pay about $100 on it every month, um, I'm still going to allocate $80 into this every pay. So then not only are they getting $100, then they're getting an additional $160 at the end of the month, which really brings your debt to income ratio down because you only, wanna, you only want to utilize 30% of your credit limit. Again, not a financial advisor. Google it. So I'm going to do 80 bucks here. 40 60 80 and I'm gonna throw that in my debit snowball I hope this works out you guys <laughs> so health um, right now I get free health care in the state of Maryland um, that's because before I started working at a corporate space um, the state of Maryland issued me free health care but come April girl April come August I will be responsible for my own health care so what I'm gonna do now is really prepare for that moving forward and what that looks like um, for me is that I'm gonna put $50 in health because what I've been able to budget I think for the month is about $212 covers us so boom because and let me tell you why let me go back to health real quick yeah you can get it through your employer but i work for a smaller company and as you can imagine smaller the company the more the expense is going to be and no <laughs> so i was able to go and find my own medical insurance through um care first blue cross and it was way more affordable keep the same doctors i don't have no change in the system okay so then we have christmas as we know black friday always approaches and we're never prepared well, at least I'm not. So I've allocated $30 to Christmas. Just like that. And the beautiful thing about when your kids get older, it's less about toys and it's more about electronics. So like, girl, get ahead of the game. <laughs> then we have back to school, which is relatively minimal. Um, they're, work, they're remote right now. Um, and everyone has like tablets and things like that. So I haven't really needed to buy too much school supplies. Um, especially with Pierce going to a public school, they issue a lot of the school supplies, apparently. Um, it's just really things that he may want versus what he may need. So I'm just going to do 10 bucks for now. Especially with the school year wrapping up, like, I don't need to overinvest in that space right now. Then we have gifts, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Mom's birthday, Daddy birthday, my sister's birthday. I just want to prepare for it ahead of time. So I budgeted $20 into gifts. Booyah. Um, Stella, um, <laughs> my pet, my one and only, and I will never get another pet person, person, animal. Um, I allocate $10 for her, um, which I've already used today. Like literally I just gave it to Reese to go get her food. So this is going to be for her shots. Um, I'm saving up to get her spayed. I know you guys, I, I was really considering, um, procreating, having her procreate. But I just don't think I have the bandwidth to really manage a litter of puppies at this point in my life. Um, that may change, but if so, then I would be saving up for a stud. Um, her shots are up to date. When I go out of town, maybe this is for her boarding because it's about $26 a day because she's only 50 pounds. So just know there was money in here a moment ago and I had to give it to Reese to go get her dog food. Then we have home. Home could look like so many things. This could be your toiletries. This could be your candle addiction <laughs> no judgment um but it also could be for any remodeling that you have going on i am in the process of buying a home so what this looks like to me is furniture so with that said and i haven't even got my income taxes back so that's why this is going to be a minimal investment right now but i've budgeted 25 dollars for home so 20 and 5. girl we doing it we doing it doing it okay and that is it for this binder you guys, I'm so proud of myself. And that's the thing. Like, it definitely feels like you're doing something. My third and final binder, you guys. So, 
Um, I have a handbags here and let's just, I'm going to keep it a buck. I am not a handbag girl. Like as soon as I got this follow facts, I was like done. But I realized with kids, like being able to kind of shuffle them around, you really need a hands-free option and not for nothing. My best friend Natalie hates my target buys. So I think I want to really spurge and get myself a nice crossbody, either Louis or um, a Chloe bag. I'm really not into Gucci like that or even why I sell. So I'm going to start planning and putting a little coin aside for a girl to get a grown-up bag, okay? So back up off me. So I'm budgeting $20 into handbags. Then we have my 40th birthday. I know you guys are like 40th, girl. So that's about a year away. Um, I'll be 39 this October. I know it's really atrocious. But uh, my 40th, I, I'm really doing it big. Uh, my intention is to either go to Marrakesh or the Maldives. And I'm not playing any games. Because I'm going to need a wardrobe. I'm going to need somewhere fancy to stay. Airfare. Spending money. Like I'm, I, play, I play these no games. So with that said, I'm going to put $40 aside for my 40th. And in a year, this may look fatty sir. Fats a lot. You hear me? Then we have our sneakers section here. You know how I feel about my sneakers, you guys. Um, any new releases. I really just want to plan ahead instead of just dropping $200 every time something comes out. So I've allocated $25. 20 5 Into sneakers. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to come back to miscellaneous for a second. Am I? No, I'm going to keep it. What did I? Yeah. So miscellaneous. This could be anything outside of things that you have considered in your sunken funds that maybe you have leftovers from your cash envelope, right? So say I don't use all my gas money. Say I don't use all my spending money. Um, you can do one or two things. You can apply it to your debt snowball or you can put it miscellaneous and whenever you feel like you need those funds, you have a place for them and, but you also can save towards it. So for me, I've allocated $5 in miscellaneous. Utilities, um, I currently don't pay utilities, so we can skip this, but moving forward as I'm preparing to move, I'm gonna start putting money into utilities to kind of get ahead of the bills, right? Because when you move into a new place, um, you end up paying like a month ahead. So I'm gonna start planning for this one very soon. Then we have our savings challenges. So what does this look like? So I decided to do um, a 26 week challenge and what that looks like is essentially you're putting money aside that you end up saving two grand over um a year uh over a year and the only reason why i do 26 weeks is because we get paid 26 times but obviously i started working in the month of april but i'm gonna backtrack a little bit and i'm just gonna start with january so for january i'm to put aside 85 dollars and then you end up counting um this at the end of the year to see how much you end up getting and then you have bonus weeks right because some months especially in the first and second half of the year you get paid three times in the month so it says january 85 dollars so that's 50 60 70 80 five. lovely boop, boop, boop. And then what you could do is go in and kind of just, sorry, it's backwards now. <laughs> Let me fix it. Be a professional. Really nice chunk of change at the end. Oh, God, I hope I didn't mess that up. <clears throat> what else do we have left? Goodness, I'm broke. Um, Emergency funds. So for emergency funds, typically I like to put a, aside 50 bucks. Um, but this money automatically withdraws from my payroll this emergency funds as well as savings so they already go into a savings account with usaa so i still will fill out the form 50 dollars for emergency funds and i put a hundred dollars in my savings um but what i can do because i have some cash left over from some of the bills that i were i was taking care of i'm actually going to split this up and put it in between the two so right now i have 5 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 so 25, that's, yeah, 25 total. Lord, Jesus, be offense. So I'm going to take the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 dollars. And I'm going to put that in my emergency funds. 
because I have leftover. Like, oh my God, I didn't even think that was possible. And then I'm gonna put the extra $15 in my savings. I don't know, how, I hope it didn't like cut off. That would hurt my feelings. And you guys, we have stuffed all of our binders in our cash envelopes. So that's essentially how it works. We do this every two weeks, at least for me, because I don't work, um, I don't get paid on a weekly basis. But say if I have lash funds coming in, then maybe I'll do this a little bit more often. I had some change from some purchases. So I'm gonna keep my change there until I get one of those like change coin jars that count it up for you. But essentially this is what it looks like. Every two weeks you're saving funds, you're putting money aside, and you know where every single dollar is being spent. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, make sure that you comment below, like, share, and make sure you subscribe. Until the next video. Bye.